Hello everyone, welcome to another video lecture series on consumer behavior. In the previous video, we discussed about the introduction to consumer behavior. We basically understood why is it necessary for a marketer to understand the behavior of a consumer. In this video, uh, we'll be discussing about the input process output model or this model is also called as the black box model. A model is used in the study of buying behavior of consumer. The model assumes that what takes place in the consumer's black box of the consumer's mind can be inferred from a study of observed stimuli and the response. According to Kotler and Armstrong, the basic model of consumer decision-making process comprises of three major components, starting from marketing and other stimuli, the buyer's black box, and finally, the buyer's response. As a result, there are many different theories and models that explain why consumers act as they do or why consumers fundamentally, uh, whether, the, uh, whether the consumers fundamentally are active or passive, rational or emotional, how do they make buying decisions? The external stimuli that, consumer, that a consumer respond to include the marketing mix, namely product, price, place, and the promotion, and other environmental features, sorry, the factors in the market. The four P's represents a set of stimuli that are planned and created by the company. The external stimuli are supplied by economic, technological, cultural, political, situational. Together, these factors represent the external circumstances that help shape consumer choices. The internal factors affecting consumer decision are described as the black box. So these are the external factors. So this is by the company and uh, these are the other factors which influences the consumer behavior. So if we look at the buyer's black box, so buyer's black box is the internal factor which affects the consumer decision. And that is why it is described as the black box or the customer mind. So this contains factor that exist in the person's mind. These include characteristics of consumers such as needs, beliefs, values, motivation, and lifestyle. So in the buyer black box model, there is buyer decision process. So buyer decision process is how the decision is carried out. So where exactly a customer tries to uh, search for information about a product. So that is when there is a problem, a customer will be in search of the solution to it. The solution is searching for information and finally he comes up with option A, B and C and uh, he needs to actually pick one product out of those three and he starts to evaluate so which suits my budget, which product can I choose, which product should I not choose and finally he decides and goes ahead with a product or services. And next comes the post-purchase behavior. So post-purchase behavior is so how exactly the behavior of a consumer is going to be post the purchase of that product from the company. So the decision making process is also part of the black box model. As a consumer responds to external stimuli, uh, their black box process uh, choices based on internal factors and determine the consumer's response. So consumer's response is how likely a consumer is going to be influenced by the external factors and the in internal factors and what his response is likely to be. So well, there are only two chances, either he may buy the product or he may reject the product. So consumer purchasing behavior is considered by many to be a mystery box because it's very difficult to understand uh, what influenced a consumer to buy the product. Was that the promotional activities that was taken or is that the technological factor or word of mouth? What really made the consumer to buy the product? When people themselves do not fully understand what drives their choices, the exchange process can be unpredictable and difficult for a marketer to understand. 
So in this video, we understood the input process output model. There are certain inputs for the consumers like marketing stimuli and other stimuli as well. And there are certain internal motives which drives a person to buy the product or it is called as the bias response.